Okay. Okay. So now I got uh, start one, bench one, cut one. This is only for one year. You got this player for their one superstar year, right? You got Michael Vick, 2006 year. You got RG3, that what, 2012, 2013 yeah, year when he was yeah. balling, right? And you got Lamar Jackson, what he did last year. Start oh, okay. one, bench one, cut one. So I'm a cut RG. I love you, RG. Okay. <laughs> I'm a bench seven. That's my dog, but I'm a bench seven. Okay. I'm with Lamar, man. Just you know, oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I, tell you. I think Mike will be the first one to tell you, man. Like, yeah. I know Alabama, where you're going. He played like he didn't have anybody cater that that type of like Lamar's getting system. Yeah, he got his own system. Yeah, Kyler Murray is is getting a system catered to catered to his ability. Catered to his ability, man. And I hate to jump around, but when I watch Dwayne Haskins, I feel like they want him to do what they want him to do. Exactly. Throw the kid through fifty touchdowns in college, dog, and beat Joe Burrow out. He got to know how to do something, right? Right. True. Right. What he can do well, and coach that. Um, any team that you know. Any team that puts you in position and understands, that's why I, I, I love Coach Belichick. Never been around him. Talked to him one time when I almost went there in free agency. But mm-hmm. I love him because I, I don't see him high. I don't see him putting his guys in position to do the things they can't do. Like right. Can't do. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I see coaches, you know, they just want to call man and blame it on the call. Oh, he just got beat. Well, bro, no. scheme something up for us, man. Like, Thank we you. know we can't cover him. Like, right. Exactly. Knows that. So why you got him doing it? It's because you can go in that meeting after and say, well, he was in man, dog. He should have covered him. Instead of mm. saying, yeah, coach, I, I called the wrong call. That blitz shouldn't have called that. Instead right. of calling that, they, they want to be able to say, yeah, he was in man, man. He just didn't cover him. And yeah. so, you know, I love seeing, you know, even Rex Ryan, man, the way he always had Revis's back. You know what I mean? Because he would go in the media and say, oh, Revis locking everybody down. And then I'm looking at him and I'm like, bro, he got that safety over the top on that. Over the top, right. And I'm not saying it happened all the time in Darrell. Right. You right. Know, I know. Uh, right. It happened more times than not, but Rex right. was in there and, and, and have you thinking he was on an island by himself. I'm talking right. about right. <laughs> and right, and, and it doesn't hurt it doesn't help the situation because you got analysts that don't yeah. really know. <laughs> they thinking, oh, <laughs> he's on it. Yeah, he yeah, exactly. They're co-signing what people are saying. Like I said, people that know, knowing no. that, okay, yeah, it's not happening. 80 to 90% of the time. Yeah, is he a great corner? Absolutely. Absolutely. But he ain't just out there just shutting everybody Every down just one on one. There's disguised coverage. That's why you got these bums up there, you know, come analysts or what have you, don't know what they're talking about, just going to just spewing everything. But I'm yeah. glad guys nah, that, yeah, like no, I said, they, they play the that's, game. That's what made me want to get into, into the media game, man, is because I, I used to sit home and, and hear analysts talk about what I was doing. And I'm like, bro, you totally, like, what are you talking about? Don't even know, right? right. Don't even know. Exactly. <laughs> attacking, guys, attacking guys for no reason. And I'm right. like, exactly. Oh, he got the point. He didn't make the play. Do you know how hard that play is to make? Or they act right. like, you know, oh, that was that was dumb. He shouldn't have, like, bro, he not trying to do that. Right. Like, sometimes I feel like guys forget, you know, even coaches that play, man. A lot of coaches, a lot of people on TV, they forget they played the game. You know what I mean? They forget how hard it is to play the game. Right. I made a hell of a lot of plays. I gave up some plays, too. Like, I still right. have to talk about DeAndre Hopkins. And I'm like, bro, if you yeah. watch it, like, bro, I slipped trying to break on that weak-ass double-move route, double-move cut. <laughs> like, I don't care about getting getting ate up. If I if I get ate up, like, gunfighters get right. shot for the coach already. already. Right. right. If I'm right. out shooting cats at some point, only cat ain't getting beat is the cat that ain't playing. And right, so exactly. I got no problem and no forms with the dudes who gave me work because right. I gave plenty of dudes work myself. But absolutely. You know, but I, you know, when I say that, like, I I don't even focus in on some of that stuff, man. But you know, it is what it is. Right. Yeah. Right. But I'm I'm glad I'm glad, I'm glad you talked about the uh, you know obviously your segue you know into into the booth and why why you did that. Um, now that you feel like you're in a position to to kind of educate and then bring really a, a, a true football mind. And then I think some networks, they like guys that are, you know, pretty forthcoming and, and really not just X's and O's, but really showing the truth to what's going on out there as they dissect, uh, dissect plays. Is that is that something now that you enjoy? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. 
Absolutely. You know, I, I you know I love seeing a play and then, you know, being able to talk, talk a fan through or talk, you know, yeah. my, my play by play guy. Well, why, why are they doing that? Well, look, man, look, they're in a quarters defense. Look, he should have stayed high on this. He's sitting his feet. That corner. Yeah, it looks like it's his fault, but it's really not that safety. They're playing the palms where he's going right. to trap out on him. That safety has to go roll to one. And so, you know, I enjoy being able to educate folks about you know, kind of what's going on through the course of a game. And, you know, just myself in general, I like looking at it because I, I still try to play chess. What would I do in this situation? Right. Uh, mm-hmm. or, you know, because I've always had coordinators that were like linebacker guys. And so they always wanted to make sure that linebackers were protected or this. And so they hung us out to dry a lot. Um, but then when I look at some other teams that have – coordinators who are secondary guys, it seems like, look, we're going to make sure this back end is, is, is straight. Is right. and yeah. And straight. Everybody has their assignment. Look, if a back beat us out the backfield, we'll all rally down to that. You know, uh, start one bench, one cut one. Right. So I'm going to give you a little scenario and see, see what you come up with. Right. So let's just say you got a, uh, you got a third and third and 10 scenario, right? You got a safety over the top. So you and the safety got to communicate. You can give you three choices of a safety. Right, three uh, former teammates, LaRon Landry, Lawyer Malloy, or Ryan Clark. Start one, bench one, cut one. Third and ten, you got two men with you in the safety over the top. What you go do, LaRon Landry, Lawyer? Yeah, LaRon's probably one of the fastest darn safeties I've ever played with. Okay, um, but speed don't mean nothing if you're going the wrong way or if you ain't. Got- <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're doing because I don't know if y'all remember LaRon. We had a cover too. Yeah. Called yeah. against Philly, and it was D Jack. And I told Leron, "Hey, bro, first yeah. of all, Ron goes talking trash to D Jack before the game, and I'm like, bro, I gotta cover him. Let right. me talk trash. <laughs> said what you want. They called out cover two. We said, Leron, stay deep. Mm-hmm. Leron doesn't stay deep, and D Jack turned them all around, eighty yards per game. So I don't Peace. want Leron, First of all, I don't want Leron. Okay, so he cut. Leron is cut. <laughs> and, and, and I'm a probably sit or you said sit one bench one cut one start, yep. yeah start, start, start one, one bench one cut one yeah right. I'm gonna I'm actually cut LeRon you gonna cut LeRon <laughs> <laughs> gotta I'm go Ryan Clark man I'm a bench Ryan Clark uh I okay, played okay. Ryan Clark when he was pretty long in the tooth himself right uh, <laughs> that year I actually tore my ACL I was expecting to to, to, to be able to play with him because I mean the dude was a phenomenal mind when you talk about a safety and just football Mm -hmm. Um, you know probably one of the smartest people I know hands down on a football field just the way he sees stuff Uh, and so I'm I'm only sitting him because I didn't play with him as long as I played with lawyer Mm -hmm. I'm a star lawyer my lawyer because I was a young dude man and lawyer taught me a whole lot about life a lot about football I still talk to lawyer to this day Mm -hmm. Um, you know, having a dude who had the success he had early on and coming to Atlanta, he was able to teach, you know, our young group really mm-hmm. how to be pros, man. And Lawyer wasn't the dude who was going to get back there and probably give you the best coverage. He was more of a banger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like I said, he just taught me so much and I've always been such a fan of his. And so I'm going to take, I'm going to take Lawyer, my lord. Okay. There it okay. is.